Okay, question 11. This one is like number pattern, okay? And if you ask me, question A, if you really cannot imagine, right, 11A, you can draw to get a one mark. But like I said, is it worth it or not? And it's possible to draw for this question. Total of 17 rods, okay? And straws to form a rectangular grid that's two rods and three straws. So I'm going to use two different color. Rods is the one that is vertical. Straws is the one that's horizontal. So I'm going to just show. Okay, now. He, she added more rods and straws to form three rods long and four straws wide. So if I were to ask you, okay, number one, when you have three rods, means that you will have three rows, correct? But how many rows of the straws will you have? Okay, so if you cannot imagine, then I will say you draw three rods. One, two, three. So how many straws will you see? How many rows of straws? You will see four rows. So you will see four rows of straws and each row has four straws. So you will be able to get 16 straws. Okay, how about rods? So the only way is to really okay, draw it out. You notice that for rods, right? Okay, how many rods are there? If you have four straws, one, two, three, four. How many rods will you see? One, okay, use another color. Huh? One, two, three, four, five. Can you all see? So for four straws, you will be able to see five rods. And how many rows of the rods do you have? They already told you have three rods long. So you have three rows of the rods, then it will be five times three, which will give you 15 rods. That's how I get my answer. Okay, if you really can't, then I will say that just draw it out. It's easier to see. Okay, this one, would you draw it out? I suggest not to. Lah. Okay, you should try to see a pattern from here. Answers? Yeah, don't draw out nah, for the second part. You should try to understand how to do it. Now, we talk about the rods first. If I have four rods, right? How many rows do you see? One, two, three, four. How many rows? Five rows, right? So five rows of straw. Five times 52 straws will give you two six zero straws now you have 52 straws okay i'm going to use another color okay let me erase that so i'm going to use another color to show you if you have 52 straws in between two straws what do you see in between two straws that there will be three columns of rods, okay? So, how many columns will you see in 52 straws? So, if you have, okay, we will try to use another one again. If I have three straws, I will see four columns of rods. So, if I have, okay, four straws, I will see five columns. If I have five straws, I will see six columns. So the pattern is always one more. So what do I know? 52 straws means that I will have 53 columns. And every column, you can see that there are four rods. So you take four rods times 53, that will give you two, one, two rods. So in total, two, one, two plus two, that's how you get it. So you have to make some logical deduction from here before you can find the answer. Because question A and B, the only difference is B, you should not be drawing. You should make some deduction. 